So far I've had some really decent battles with this platoon. Not all have been successful victory-wise, but this platoon has proven itself to be very good. Now, uh, it's time to take a look at the PLZ83-130, which does look like artillery, uh, but I believe this is a tank destroyer. It has a very long 130mm main cannon, obviously has little to no armor, as to be expected with, with this vehicle. It doesn't have any AP, FSDS or heat shell, but it has a proximity high explosive shell, which means that it can be used against aircraft, which uh, is kind of interesting when you think about it. Fairly long reload, and it's not too slow, it's fairly speedy, I would say. The main drawback is definitely the size of this thing and the armor. Now, size-wise, yeah, this is a very boxy, uh, very boxy tank. Any high explosive hit to the turret is going to destroy the vehicle. It has, as I mentioned before, a little to no armor. It doesn't have an autoloader and the ammo is practically stored at the back of the turret of this vehicle which means if you get hit in the turret it's a good chance that the vehicle will blow up and I recommend if you're shooting at this vehicle use high explosive because high explosive is going to do the most damage on the PLZ now also a thing that's worth mentioning uh, the vehicle is able to rotate the the turret in a 360 degree circle which is in the in the case of most tanks very important since you are able to position yourself in such a way that to expose the hole as little as, as possible. Or in this case, in my case here, I am taking advantage of a little crack between the two buildings where I am able to put the shell through and send the shell to the enemy to the enemy vehicles and I was a little bit distracted by something else, my apologies for that. Now some revenge bomber action, uh, the overall tank, or tank shore in this case, is very vulnerable to bombs and artillery. Any bomb that lands close to you, any artillery that lands close to you, any rocket that lands close to you, will damage the, primarily will damage the turret of this vehicle. And honestly, this kind of reminds me of the FV-1183, which is the so-called Death Star. It has a very similar boxy design, the, the same turret placement in the back. The only difference is it doesn't have a huge, huge 183mm cannon. Now, speaking of the cannon, this, this cannon is actually really solid for what it is. 328mm of average penetration is decent. Uh, has decent high explosive, able to lower pressure easily. Accuracy is also, I would say, very, very good. Uh, and I actually thought initially that I'll struggle with this tank because it doesn't have heat or APFSDS shells, but honestly, it doesn't really need those. This huge can is compensating with very good penetration already and it has explosive AP shells, a explosive APC BC which means once the shell goes in it will have post penetration damage by exploding inside and basically sending metal pieces flying all over the interior of the vehicle and being a large caliber gun means that it is definitely going to do some serious damage to whatever it hits so Damage wise, you don't have to worry about this uh, this cannon, it will do damage. It probably has the best damage out of any vehicle within this platoon. 
Maybe the 8 gem on the object is kind of a little bit better, but at the same time, uh, this is after all a AP shell and it has its own thing. I mean, comparing tank shells with with r rockets and missiles is not really, you know, accurate, but when it comes to combat, you need to know what's doing the most damage to the enemy vehicle. And this huge cannon definitely does some some damage, that's for sure. You will not struggle to to do damage on the enemy vehicles with this big big gun. The reload the reload might be the most painful thing I would say and the size of the vehicle, but I don't really mind the long reload. Yeah, just shoot high explosive anywhere and it will do damage on on the lightly armored vehicles and yeah this is another epic failure. But you know, it's still not a bad match. Seven destroyed tanks, I'll take it. Better than nothing, I would say. Being first place and a defeat, it, it is acceptable. I don't really aim to win every single battle because that's practically impossible to do on your own. But I think I did fairly well already with the with the PLZ please tank that's how I'm that's how I'm going to call it the please tank <laughs> that would be funny yeah this is going to be a fail no way that I'm going to win this it's impossible at this at this state can this vehicle carry bells? Well, maybe. This is more of a sniper background artillery support vehicle. Definitely not something I would use to rush forward because it's not the fastest and it doesn't have the best armor and definitely not the smallest. It definitely does not have the, the build for for it to be used as a medium tank or a small tank or a main battle tank. This is a background vehicle that takes advantage of cover, a vehicle that is creeping around the rock, creeping around a corner and basically using every single possible well, teammate, I would say, as support and as cover since obviously you, I mean, you can rush forward with this, but it's not going to live long because of the size and, well, it's not slow, definitely, it, it is speedy. It's just that the size and the reload doesn't make this vehicle suitable for, for it to be played like a normal tank. This is a tank that's short, a artillery, a, a self-propelled gun. Uh, I don't know what, that, what it actually is, but I think it's a tank that's short. So... Being in the background and just destroying whatever comes into your sights is basically the the goal for this for this vehicle here. And it does a good job at the tank destroying part because it definitely definitely does damage. But there are some vehicles that you might struggle to penetrate, however however uh wait was that a churchill there yeah that was a churchill i think the mouse might be problematic but at the same time as you can see it's able to cut through the weak spots of most of the vehicle you will have to oh speaking of the devil there's a mouse speaking of the devil i summoned the mouse isn't that lovely well i'll have to use the revenge bomber for that one since even the 75mm secondary cannon on the mouse can destroy this vehicle since the 75mm on the mouse is actually using heat. And yeah, I am fairly sure even that is enough to pressure this vehicle, so smart thing to do is to use the revenge bomber and pray that the bombs land on the mouse. If I hit the third cheek on the mouse uh, I might be able to penetrate I think I might be able to, to go through and I if I should 
between the tracks, basically the driver, I should be able to penetrate the mouse. Well, we are about to find out. And yes, it actually did go in, but it didn't do much. Just killed the driver there. Let's see, the mouse is angling the, the turret. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go through the turret at that angle. I'll just shoot the driver again. Yeah, it definitely did go through, but didn't do a lot of damage. And something happened with the mouse. It looks like the ammunition went up in the sky. Well, it would be nice if I did get the mouse killed there, but I didn't, and that's fine. When you're driving this, you really have to be careful, since despite the looks, this literally has absolutely no armor. And, well, that's not a big problem. Oh, okay, that was funny. Uh, while it has no armor, you you still have a very powerful main gun and this is definitely a vehicle meant for sniping definitely not a vehicle that's meant to be in the front lines that's for sure oh look we have a medium tank and boom there we go well that was the PLZ uh, it was a very, very interesting, very interesting tank, this tour that I will definitely play a lot more. And do tell me what you think about this platoon in the comments down below. Very curious to see what you guys think about the Object 122 and the PLZ. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe and as always, I'll see you next time.